Hello. So today we're going to show you, we're going to do a quick uh, video on building a deck, not a deck, what would you call it, platform in the back of our truck. We decided last night we want to take a trip to Texas to look at some land we bought out there. So we will be camping in our truck while we're there. Um, it's desert land, so it provides great shelter. So we need to provide some kind of a, a deck so we can put some stuff underneath it. Still have room for, you know, sleeping, sleeping right? <laughs> so let me flip the camera here. This is the truck. It is a Dodge Ram 2500. I have a topper on it. As you can see, the topper is a little bit elevated. I think it's the mid-rise topper. Have some lights in here and whatnot. So the goal, windows. yeah, it has windows with little screens you can open up. This is what we will be using. The lumber you see here. And these are the tools. So if you want to do this at home, you could do it as well. Using a cordless jigsaw, a drill to make holes, a drill to screw screws in. We got some, uh, some level, some markers, measuring tapes, a square hammer in case it just doesn't want to comply. We will hit it harder. <laughs> Let's get this started. <laughs> All right, so the first step is gonna to be to put the lumber in here, kind of get some uh, measurements and then uh, come up with the base design. Again, this is not for long term. This is very temporary. I like using lumber because it's reusable. We'll use it for other projects, etc. when we take this out. So let's get some lumber and measure. So this is gonna be the base of our platform and it is a two by 10 by eight foot long. And the goal is to get it even, I don't know if you can see, with the wheel well. So as you can see, this truck has little ridges in here. We're going to have to see if it's gonna work better inside of the ridge or on top of the ridge. So first things first, we're gonna measure where we wanna cut this. It's gonna be somewhere over here. I don't want it too close to the tailgate. So we'll get that measurement, get it cut, and then check it out. Seventy-four it is. Sounds good. So one of the things that we would like to do is be able to have some storage under here. So right now, as you can see, that it's a little tight. So I think what I'm gonna do, throw a two by four underneath of the two by ten to elevate a little bit and give us enough clearance. So with the two by four under there, you can see plenty of clearance. So we're gonna go with that. I'm gonna cut some two by fours, attach them to the bottom of the two by tens. We should be good to go for the base for now. So now we're attaching the two by four to the two by 10. All right, so now that that's screwed in, that's what it looks like. Like an L, backwards L, I guess. And you can see we have plenty of storage under there to throw some of these bins under there that's gonna carry our essentials. So we're gonna do the same thing the other side, then we'll start working on the cross bracing. All right, we got both sides in. So now we're gonna work on some cross braces. We measured cross braces are right, hair over 47 and a half, so that would be 47 and 9 sixteenths. So we're gonna cut two cross braces, throw one in on the front. The back, I don't think I'm gonna do one um, because then it blocks access to the storage bins, but we will have some bracing. So we cut the cross brace. That's what it's gonna look like. As you can see there, basically sits right on top of that two by four. What we're gonna do, pre-drill the holes and then do three inch screws on either side. We'll get that thing in and then we're gonna flip this entire thing around so this is facing the front.
All right, so we got the cross braces in the front on to separate that front compartment from the rear. We flipped it around, put it in there. So that part is done, on to the next step. All right, so we got that part done. Unfortunately, that was all I had planned out. So we thought about it a little bit. I think we're gonna throw some two by fours on top of these, kind of running across to support the, uh, the OSB flat board we're gonna put on top. So we're gonna cut some, the width, throw them up there, see what they look like, and go from there. All right, so we got the uh, supports on the top. So it kind of functions as two things, right? It's gonna stabilize these boards uh, on the side here and also serve as a platform for the wood that we'll be putting our mattress on top of. So still plenty of room uh, to, uh, to slide you know, all the essentials underneath. So. As you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six total braces and uh, in the process of screwing them down now. All right, so the boards are done. Now we're gonna make the first piece of wood for the front, and this is the wood we're using. Cheap OSB, works great for a platform. That's what we'll be putting in on top of here. Got the first piece cut, let's see if it fits. These lights are cool in my truck, but it's kind of annoying because they time out fairly quickly. At some point, I'm sure I'll wire them in so I can leave them on or off. Uh-oh, Carol. Carol never played Tetris. Not really. Carol never played Tetris. Bear with me. Uh, bear with you. You barely made it. Did you put the smooth side up? I don't know. Feel it? Yeah. Uh, that was the lucky one. <laughs> that was luck. Does it fit? Yes, sir. First board is in. All right. I think it only gets easier from here. I'm not really sure. We'll see. So one of the challenges we have is obviously with the bigger sheet of wood, it's hard to turn in there, nearly impossible. So what we're gonna do instead is put them in long ways. And now I have to trim that much off. Once I do, I'll probably cut the curvature a little bit so it fits decently. And then we'll screw it in place, cut the other side. We're almost done. All right, so we got that board put in. I'm gonna turn this light on so you can see. First board's in. We did make a cutout right there to kind of contour the bed. It ain't perfect. This ain't, you know, permanent. It's temporary. So it just needs to last a week. That's literally all. a week. <laughs> so now we're gonna do this side. Follow the same process. We got the last piece cut. As you can see, the same little cut around the bed. Now we're gonna do a test run, make sure this thing still fits. And 
it does. I do too. And there's Carol <laughs> trying out the camper. So my bed is six and a half feet long, so it's perfect for sleeping long ways, thankfully. <laughs> so now we're gonna screw these down and we should be good to go. Good job. You only need one on the edges and then one in the middle and one on the side. And if you can't find where it's at, just measure how far from the end. Throwing in the final screws. Two more. Last one. Woohoo! Woohoo! All right, so. Here is our platform that got finished. As you can see, I can fit uh, three total bins. I'm gonna do two long ways and one sideways. Plenty of storage. We have some storage on each side over here as well. As you can see for little things, toe straps, whatever. And then that's the view from the top. Oh, wait, what's going on? We have a stowaway. Oh my goodness, there's a stowaway! You can also store your wife back and you here. Definitely, there's a hidden compartment in the, in the front there so you can uh, <laughs> store your wife. So here we have Carol making the bed. I think this is actually taking longer than the construction of the platform. But... It's harder than it looks, okay? We will show you the end result here soon. So this is the final result. Bed in place. Carol put some lights up there for decoration. Storage under here. As you can see, I got two bins under there. And then this one's gonna fit right here. And then you still have a little room right there for whatever. Backpack. Boots. Luggage will probably just throw on top of the bed, put it in the truck when we sleep back here. So, but that's uh it's basically a wrap. Here's your two hour truck camping platform storage, whatever you want to call it. Thanks for watching.